Hello and welcome to Speaking Out of Character. My name is Anthony Yanis and I'm the Dungeon Master for Out of Character RPG. And uh, this is our segment where we kind of talk about all different kinds of things that are role playing. Uh, please help us out by subscribing, liking, hit, hit that com make comments, notification bell right there. Uh, you know, we would really greatly appreciate it. And uh, especially, I think we got a pretty interesting topic today. Today, the topic is, what is the worst thing your players have done in your campaign? What is the worst thing your players have done in your campaign? I think this is something uh, many of us game masters, dungeon masters have experienced. Uh, me, who has been uh, game mastering for over 40 years, I got to tell you, I got a buttload of, of <laughs> experience, events, things that have occurred in my campaigns that uh, just where player characters seem to have uh, planned to just disrupt my campaign, right? i give you an example. <clears throat> I remember one time, a long time ago, running a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. And I remember that there was this ancient tree a mystical, magical tree that gave the mission to the player characters. And I remember at, after the completion of this long campaign, the player characters, uh, uh, you know, approached the uh, the ancient tree. And the ancient tree, the, the trunk opened up and, and, and gave them, awarded them these powerful, magical weapons. And of course, each player character had their own type of weapon uh, according to their class. And I remember that there was this one player, and he was awarded the, the battle axe, right? A magical, powerful battle axe. And I, after all of them getting their weapons, I said to them, what are you guys doing? Right, as the game master always does, the dungeon master. So what are you guys doing? And this one individual with the battle axe says, I start to cut down the ancient tree. And I said, what? <laughs> what and he said i'm cutting down the ancient tree and i said why and he says because i want to test out my magical uh, battle axe <laughs> no kidding this you can't make this stuff up he really did that and and then he commenced to to chop down the ancient tree with this brand new magical battle axe i you just can't make this stuff up I remember in another campaign, um, again, a long time ago, this is, um, we, we, we were doing a campaign of Star Blazer. Now, back then, there was no Star Blazer role-playing game. So I had to take, like, ideas from all over the place and kind of construct my own game. Back then, we didn't have tablets and stuff like that. So I had this three-ring binder full of uh, notes and, and papers, pictures. And back then, you had a, we called it Xerox copy, right? Uh, we Xerox copy, we copy these, um, you know, pictures from, from Star Blazer, the, the anime, right? And it cost me a lot of money to put this together. I, I invested so much time and effort and money, and I was excited about this campaign. And um, I, I made each of the player characters really important in the Star Blazer, this ship. And, uh, like, for instance, the... One of them was the captain of the Star Blazer. Another one was the head of security. Another one was the head of engineering, and so on and so forth. And I remember in the very first session, the very first game uh, we played, the um, head of security offended the captain. And the captain put the security, the head of security, in the brig for a day. After a day, he released the head of security. And you know what that player character did? He went and set demolitions because he had authority to travel all over the ship and he had all the weapons. He set demolition to the engines of the Star Blazer. And he blew the whole ship up. All of humanity, everybody, captain, even himself, everybody, dead. Campaign ended. One session, one day, done. Right? <clears throat> I remember another campaign I was running. It was a Robotech campaign, Palladium Games. Some of you might be aware. This is another campaign a long, long time ago. 
And I remember um, they, they had a supplement and it was the academy of Robotech, right? And you could pl- put your players through the academy. It was really cool. And um, whoever succeeded, scored the highest in, these, in the academy would be the squad leader, right? And there was one player character who dominated and he, he earned that title, squad leader. Now, the person who scored the second highest, he really wanted that position of being squad leader. So guess what he did? He assassinated the squad leader, thereby being promoted to squad leader. I told you you can't make this stuff up. This really, really happened, right? Now, now I got to tell you, when these things occurred, I was pissed. I was frustrated. I was angry. I mean, I was upset, right? But saying that, I also want to say, I don't think I would have done anything different. Because one thing as a game master, I believe, is that the player characters should make their own decisions for their characters. And that I should not interfere with those decisions. Now, there are consequences to those decisions. Absolutely. But I will never intervene to stop them from doing something that they want their player character to do. Right? And not a lot of game masters would agree with that, especially with those scenarios. Right? I mean, you think about it. Um, but I but I also got to say this. Looking back... You know, I still play with those players, and and they improve greatly, all right? But I I still play with them till this day. And I got to tell you, when we get together and we talk about role-playing and we talk about those past events, man, we have such a laugh. We have such a good time. I mean, reminiscing about the craziness of it, of the decisions that they made and the consequences of those decisions. You know, like, I literally can laugh now about all of those things, right? Back then, I couldn't. (laughs) <laughs> definitely not I was upset but now I could looking back and I kind of laugh about it and 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 you know it just it is the way it is so with that being said what is the worst thing you as a game master or dungeon master have experienced that your players have done share that with me I really want to know and I also would like to know Would you have dealt with those scenarios that I experienced differently? What would you have done? Would you have intervened and stopped those player characters from doing the things that they wanted to do? Or would you have done what I did, kind of sit back and just let it happen? And I know, you know, it's hard for some people, but if you look at our campaigns that I run now that that we put up on, on YouTube, there's some moments were very cringy right where I, where my player characters kind of do things that are like Ugh. but i allow it to happen i allow them to do it and uh the the con they suffer the consequences for that right so again what would you do in my shoes what would you have done and uh so comment let me know let's have this conversation so again thank you for joining me right now in Speaking Out of Character, and I'll see you in Out of Character RPG. Thank you.